Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Math. Uh, today we've been taking a look at um, the basics of probability. One of the things that we're uh, going to be often asked to calculate is uh, the probability that at least one or at least x um, amount uh, of one event occurs. Um, so the probability that at least that an event occurs at least once or that we get at least one success uh, is normally what we're looking at, uh, success and failures here. Um, the probability that we get at least one success is equal to uh, one minus the probability that we get no successes. Um, we're going to take a look at probability of at least two is one minus uh, the sum of zero and one success. And uh, we can define that uh, to the general case. Uh, the probability of at least x is going to be one minus uh, the summation from n equals zero to x minus one. Uh, the probability of n successes. So the golden rule to remember uh, here is going to be that the probability of a plus the probability of not a or the complement event is going to be one. Um, so basically what we're looking at is um, probability of a is one minus probability of not a. Now we're most often going to be looking at uh, successes and failures. So basically what we're going to do is just take a look at um, some examples and see how this applies. Um, and then later when we're looking at, uh, in the next video, when we're looking at Bernoulli trials and um, the use of uh, binomial probability, we're going to see how uh, this can be taken a little bit further. So the first example we have states there are three reactors in a chemical plant, each independent of the other, and each of which has a 90% chance of running when an experiment begins. The experiment needs at least one reactor to work. So what is the probability that at least one reactor works? So we have the probability of uh, a reactor working is 90% or 0.9. And we want the probability that at least one of them works. So that's going to be 1 minus the probability that none of them work. And the uh, problem gave us that the reactors were uh, independent of one another. So the probability that none of them work is uh, the probability that A and B and C don't work, which is 0.1 for each. So we just have that probability is 0.1 cubed. Go ahead and plug this into your calculator, calculator and you're going to get 0 0.999, which is a 99.9% .9 chance that at least one reactor works. So uh, the scientists conclude that they have a pretty uh, good chance of their chemical reactor working. Um, so now we're going to take a look again at some dice rolls. Uh, we're going to take a look at five dice rolls, and the question asks, in five dice rolls, what is the probability that we get at least one six? Well, that's going to be one minus the probability that we don't get a six. And again, uh, we're not told right away, but uh, we know that the dice rolls are all independent because on each dice roll you can get one through six and the outcome of one doesn't affect the outcome of the next roll. So we just have one minus, and there's a five, six chance that you don't get a six. And we said that there's five dice rolls, so uh, probability that dice roll one and two and three and four uh, don't get a six is just going to be 5, 6 to the fifth. Uh, go ahead and plug that into your calculator, and you're going to get 0 0.598. 0 
you can leave your probability as that, or you can say that it's a 59.8% chance that we're going to get at least one six. Um, the next one we have at a mathlete meeting, five men and three females uh, attend, and three are selected to compete in the next math competition. What is the probability that there's at least one female in the uh, selection group? That's just one minus probability that there are no females, which is one minus probability that it's all males. Um, and we have that the probability of uh, one, the first male is uh, five out of eight. The probability of the second male, well, we are, these are not independent trials because if you take one man, then you have seven people left and only four men. So it's one minus uh, five out of eight times four out of seven times three out of six. And that probability is going to be 1 minus 5 out of 28, or 23 out of 28. So that's the probability that uh, at least one is going to be female. And the last one we're going to look at, uh, a teacher gives a pop quiz with four questions that are true or false. And we have a student who has no idea what they're doing, so they guess at each. And we're going to uh, find the probability that it, they get at least one wrong. Well, that's one minus the probability that they get them all correct, which probably isn't going to happen. Student has a one half chance on each question, and uh, each question is independent because they just guess on every question. So it's one minus one half to the fourth. And that's going to equal 0.9375. So the student has a 0.9375 or 93.75% chance at getting at least one problem wrong. And uh, just keep this in mind. This is how you calculate probabilities of at least one. Thank you for watching. For more math videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Or for additional resources, including affordable digital textbooks, please visit centerofmath.org.